not sailing again and I just left the harbor got a bit of a light breeze and uh, this night there was a lot of snow coming down so it's a really beautiful landscape out here on the west coast today we got some kind of snow weather coming in just behind me right here so I'm gonna prepare for that but otherwise I'm just gonna cruise along today and see where I end up in the end of the day stuck <laughs> I was driving uh, I was gonna go into a jetty just over here and I knew it was pretty shallow water but not this shallow so I went in and I couldn't really see the bottom now I can and uh, yeah I'm stuck the boat is completely stuck and uh, the rudder can't move as well as you can see so I'm gonna turn on the engine again and see if I can get out of here otherwise I need to call the sea rescue but it's it's pretty soft bottom so hopefully I'm gonna be able to jerk the boat out of out of the mud and get going again but yeah we see what happens yep I'm loose I'm loose <laughs> and it's snowing so much now but I did it and uh, no I won't be going into that jetty again. <laughs> now I just keep <laughs> heading south. Closer to my destination right now, and uh, I'm preparing the boat to dock. Uh, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful right now because there's a lot of snow on the deck, and with the snow on the plastic, it get extremely slippery. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to be very cautious and just take it easy. I haven't really been here before with the boat, so it's gonna be a bit exciting. But yeah, see how it goes. I made it to Ellis, which is a little city located on Sweden's third biggest island called Urest. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna walk into town and maybe buy something to eat or something like that. And then I'm gonna watch a movie, read a book, and just take it easy. It's getting dark so early now, so the sailing days are really short. The clock isn't even 4 p.m., so it's pretty crazy. And I'm kind of missing the Caribbean right now. I would like to be able to sail until 6 or 7 at least without it getting dark. I got myself some glögg. It's this uh, Swedish traditional drink that you heat up and drink for Christmas. And it's pretty similar to what we drank in Germany. But I actually think this one is a little bit better. Yep, it's been a pretty cold night. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, I, I, I cut off the heating fan in the evening because I, I don't want to risk anything. But it was so cold, it was, I was like shivering like this and uh, yeah, it wasn't that pleasant. But now the sun has come up and uh, I'm getting a little bit warmer so I'm gonna head out and do some exploration. So the little town of Ellis is known for one thing and that is the Halborassi boat. And I'm really close to where they make the boats right now, so I'm gonna try to get closer to the boats that is in the water. It's Sunday right now, so I won't be able to get into where they make the boats, but hopefully I get a closer look on the ones that are in the water. They are unfortunately closed, but maybe I can give a little glimpse of the boats which is situated in water anyways. They are right over there. Let's see. I'm on my way up on a little hill right now. I'm gonna try to get a good viewing point over, over the whole little city and a bit of the archipelago as well. So let's see if I can find a way up. I'm 
uh, on the third biggest island in Sweden right now. The biggest one is Gotland and the second biggest one in Erland and it's this one, Orust. And uh, it's about half the size of Dominica. And uh, yeah, it's not that big. It's it's quite uh, quite much smaller than the, than the other two, but yeah, it, it has a lot of small villages and it's very, very beautiful landscape. So I'm back in the harbor and now I'm just gonna prepare the boat for sail. Don't have too much wind today, but I think it's gonna be a nice little trip anyways. And fortunately the ice is gone in the harbor, so don't have to deal with that. What I like most about winter sailing is, uh, is all the contrast in the weather. It's like today it's snowy, it's not that much wind, it's very very calm and beautiful. You're not that cold and it's really really nice. And tomorrow it can be the complete opposite. The snow can just blow away, it can be a storm, it can be 5 degrees plus and really really harsh and cold. What you doing? Hello. Hello there. Have a good day. Well, me too. Bye bye. One of the benefits with being a sailor, you get to witness the the real, the real wildlife in the real habitat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool.